friends, welcome back to our kitchen. So today we are making a colorful, delicious cauliflower bake. It's a breakfast recipe. I honestly struggled uh, getting a name for it. So we'll just name it a cauliflower bake. Yeah, from vegetables, total vegetables and cauliflower. And we also have avocado there. Uh, it's from ingredients that you can get them uh, easily, quickly, and this is a quick recipe. So to our ingredients, we have, um, here we have one head of cauliflower. So this depends on the number of people you're preparing for. So we're eating it uh, basically for two. Yeah, and here we have bell peppers, the red, the yellow, and the green. Again, you can always double this recipe. Here we have tomatoes. Mm. Um, next, we have our coriander leaves. Uh, they're fresh, though they're a bit wilted. And here we have one medium red onion. Um, one clove of garlic. Here we have salt. Um cumin powder and turmeric powder so basically these are our ingredients and so we'll begin by our cauliflower we'll begin by chopping it into small florets as you can see here already they are chopped they are washed and so what we'll do is that we'll put some water to boil in a sufuria and once it has boiled uh, this is we've added a, a half of the salt we we had in our recipe so some salt is going to go to the uh, stewing of the cauliflower of the bell peppers so our water has boiled already it's time to add our cauliflower we are we have we are adding our cauliflower and we'll allow this to cook until fork tender until to the point you can be able to mash the cauliflower that is the point you want to reach so this took roughly 10 minutes because cauliflower are tender so they're already for tender i removed them from the fire and allowed them to cool so while it was cooling i prepped my vegetables i chopped the ones that needed to be chopped for my onions i here we began with our onions we are going to grate our tomatoes you can blend them if you wish and you, if you don't have the seeds you can you can sieve but i don't mind having the seeds only that i wanted them blended so these are onions you're allowing them to cook until translucent yeah we've added um the rest of the vegetables the co um the red the yellow and the green bell peppers um the garlic we already added initially with the onion so here i've added the tomato and just after this i'm going to add my other seasonings which are the cumin powder and the turmeric powder yeah so this will not take long bell peppers are very rich in vitamin c so you want to cook them for a shorter time and on medium heat yeah so i've added the seasonings together with the salt that remained and i'm cooking this just for some time until the water goes down which takes a short time and once that is done um we'll put out this fire and allow it to cool so many people find it hard to cook cauliflower uh, many people are normally limited into just making vegetable stews with cauliflower but there are many ways in which you can use cauliflower so here we are mashing the cauliflower yeah cauliflower is a, um, a product of a f um, of a flower this belongs to the cruciferous family of cabbages and broccoli, lettuce, bok choy, 
and Brussels sprouts. And they are very rich in vitamin C and uh, phytochemicals that help to fight diseases and boost your immunity. So I've added my coriander leaves and I'm mixing this. I've, as you can realize, I've not mashed them quite fine, fine. Just enough to, to small bite-sized pieces. Yeah, and I think this is okay. Remember, you can always double this recipe. I halved it because um, I was making it for only a few people. Yeah, and here I have my square baking tin. I've lined it with parchment paper and I've now put my cauliflower. And next I will put my stew over the top. This recipe is just, um, let me say it's an opposite of a shepherd's pie. Because for a shepherd's pie, we put the stew down. And now the, the, the cauliflower or whatever you're using, maybe the pasta or the potatoes you put on top. So this is just another way of eating your cauliflower. Yeah, our oven is already preheating. And we'll put this in an oven 210 degrees celsius for 30 25 to 30 minutes yeah and here it had already cooked yeah and it had baked very well the top had begun browning a bit i didn't want them to brown so much so and again, it's not so firm because these are vegetables. And I think I like them the way they were. And baking the cauliflower and the vegetables just gives it a very nice taste. I'm here accompanying it with a salad of avocado, carrots, some red bell pepper and yellow bell peppers and onions which had remained. So if you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about it. Um, try it and remember to yeah, share it with me and share with other people as well. Stay blessed. Remember to eat to the glory of God. Um, remember to be a channel of light wherever the Lord has placed you. Yeah, bye.